lignans. We've heard so much about lectins, killer lectins, and we hear about um, various other nutrition topics. Lignans are not mentioned much, but lignans are polyphenols. We've been talking about them found in plants. God bless plants. They're precursors found in a wide variety of plant-based foods like seeds, whole grains, legumes, fruits, and vegetables. This is important. Flax seeds are the richest dietary source of lignans. Lignin-rich foods are part of a healthy diet, but the roles of lignans in the prevention of hormone-associated cancers, osteoporosis, and cardiovascular disease have not been clear. Flax is the richest source of lignans, having approximately 800 times more than any other plant source. Estrogen-like actions, a bit like soy, but beneficial, rich in a variety of chemicals, I won't go through them all, converted by bacteria to mammalian lignans that are known as enterodial and interlactone. And just to give you an example, flaxseed, 292 milligrams per 100 gram of flaxseed, compared to sesame seeds, which are number two on the list, 103 milligrams per 100 grams, and cashew nuts, 56. So these are all good sources, but it's another reminder. And I literally carry ground flaxseed organic in my office for my patients because of all the benefits from blood pressure to total cholesterol to heart health, breast health. But this lignin addition is one of the major reasons you want ground flaxseed in your diet. So just published a few months ago is this groundbreaking study, lignin intake and the risk of coronary heart disease. We prospectively studied over 200,000 men and women in three cohorts who did not have cardiovascular disease or cancer at baseline. Diet was repeatedly assessed using a validated food frequency questionnaire every two to four years since baseline. Increased long-term intake of lignans was associated with a significantly lower risk of total coronary heart disease in both men and women. Possibly synergistic effects may exist between lignin and the fiber intake you get out of lignans like ground flaxseed in relationship to coronary heart disease risk, possibly through enhancing the production of enterolignans or those that are active in the body. So this has really, to me, uh, caused us to raise a food group, a food chemical group, lignans, and the foods we get them from, predominantly ground flax seeds and sesame seeds, to put them on a pedestal up there with broccoli sprouts and turmeric and uh, perhaps walnuts as some of the healthiest foods on the planet. Do not miss out. Health benefits of flax seeds. We just mentioned lignans, but some data suggests help prevent breast, prostate, and colon cancer, lower cholesterol, fight diabetes, anti-inflammatory. Humans don't make omega-3 essential fatty acids, but ground flax seeds can be converted into the final products, EPA, DPA, and DHA. The good fats have been shown to have heart-healthy benefits. Each tablespoon of ground flax seed contains about 1.8 grams of plant-based omega-3. Flaxseed has soluble and insoluble fiber, more beneficial when coarsely ground. I actually use milled uh, flaxseed versus finely ground flaxseed. It's rougher. Uh, may have some helpful benefits on the immune system and the GI tract lowers blood pressure. That's been studied. And lignans have plant estrogens and antioxidant qualities similar to soy, for example. But flaxseed, again, has 800 times more lignans than other plant foods. Put them on the list if you can. <music>